In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get this kind of all the order, new orders, emails, or other uh, email or notifications of your WordPress website into your mobile and into your email accounts. Just like that, I have configured this email into my mobile and I'm getting all the notifications in my mobile. So just follow the step by step guide in this video and please subscribe my channel for all the latest updates. For getting emails in my mobile, first of all, we need to check which email is used in our WordPress. So if we want to check this, you just need to go to settings and click on general. And here is the email that I have used in my website for WordPress. So whenever someone wants to comment and whenever any post get commented, I will get notifications on this email. And second thing that you need to check is which email have you have used in WooCommerce if you have installed WooCommerce in your WordPress website and you want to get orders notifications or order carousel notifications and customers notifications in your Gmail and via mobile so you just need to check which email is used in your e WooCommerce so first of all you need to click on settings and then you need to go to your <clears throat> yeah here you just need to click on settings and then click on emails so in the emails you can check which email you have used so for email for order emails a new order email i have used this email and for cancelled email i have used this email and failed order you email i have used this email you can change it if you want to change it you just click on manage and you can just change it you can also use multiple emails for via adding this marks and if you want to change this email you can paste your email here and just click on save changes and email will be changed so this was the first step that to check and verify which email has been used in your wordpress for getting posts uh, notification and getting comments notifications and getting orders notifications now the next step is now the next step is just go to your control panel every hosting account have control panel so you just need to go to control panel the control panel you just need to find out the email section so here will here is the email section so just you just need to click on email accounts in the email accounts you will see the list of emails accounts that you have created for your domain so first of all uh, i would like to search for my email for example i was uh, used a constitutions email in my wordpress so here is the my email so if you have not created an email you if you want to create an email for your you know website so you just need to click here create and it will be there so first of here so first of all we need to check the manage it and uh, get the sum of details the configuration details uh, that we i i want to set up so first of all uh, you need to change because uh, you don't have password for this email so just click here generate password and a password will be generated so just need to copy this password and just click on update settings so this is the first setup second setup second setup is just click on uh, here uh, check email so now i want to configure it in my you know in my uh, 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 mobile so i need some configuration details from this email account so i want to get this configuration email uh, via email so uh, i i will let you know how you can get configuration emails and uh, how you can get configuration setup things uh, via email and in your email inbox here you can see these are emails here here and so i will just click on connected device connect devices and here you can see all the emails are here so i will just click here connect devices and here you can see all the settings are here so if you are want to get these instructions in your uh, email account i can also get for example i want to get this uh, instructions in my email for example this email so i will just uh, uh, paste first of all i will paste my password save it in my uh, you know pc so that i can use it and in that i will just paste my password here and that's why uh, i want to use and i have saved my password and now i want to uh, get the uh, you know these uh, uh, configuration details in my you know email account so i will just um, add this consultations email here and just uh, send and this this information uh, this configuration email has been sent to your email so here i will refresh and here you can see this uh, configuration has been sent so now i will just uh, copy these informations 
and uh, just save this in my text document because I want to use that. And here I have saved these configurations and just uh, save this and now. Now uh, I have get the configuration details for concession emails and another email that was used in my WooCommerce. For WooCommerce I was uh, used this online orders. So I will also get the same details for my you know uh, uh, configuration emails for uh, you know now my this email account online orders for example so i will just go back into my email and in the same way i will get um, this information for my online order email account because many times many different uh, you know <coughs> information can be used for different emails and different ips can be used for different emails so i will just search here my this email so here is the my email online orders i will just click here uh, and connect devices and i will just get these information into my online order email so now in the both email accounts uh, i have gotten this information and i will go back and uh, i will also change the password for that because i don't have password for that so i will just go here online orders here is the um, here i will say online orders and here i will just click on manage and just click on generate and password will be generated and just click on update settings and now the settings has been updated and i will just save this password as well as in my text document and i'll just go in the check gmail email and then i i need to get this information from this this information uh for configuration information for my mobile and uh, gmail configuration for my mobile i already have gotten this configuration emails uh, i will just copy this information and just go back and paste this information in my text document now the final step is just send this text text document into your you know mobile uh, via whatsapp or anything that you can use now we go to our mobile screen and let's see how we can configure it as you have seen how you can configure the email settings in my laptop screen so now we are going to configure these emails in my mobile so now let me search uh, i have no, uh, saved these all information in the notes so let me configure it into the gmail so just go to the gmail app and here i will search for gmail and just click on gmail and then here is the top icon in the right corner so just click on right corner and then click on add another email so just click on here and just click on other don't click on any above option just click on other and here i want to add my email account that i want to configure so i will just go back to my you know uh, notes and i will just copy my email address here i will just copy that and i will go back into my email and here i will just paste this and just click on manual setup and here i will select this imap or pop3 so i will just suggest you to select imap and then i need to uh, enter the password so i will just go back and i will copy it uh, i was added this password and just copy that and add this password here and here i will just add this password and just click on next in that incoming mm, incoming server settings so here is the username and you just need to click on username and password in the server you just need to verify the server and here in that uh, you, the, here you can see incoming server so incoming server is the domain name so that's that's fine this one is the incoming server so in your case it may be mail dot your email account or anything that so i will just say yes email server incoming email server is that and just click on next now it will validate the server setting and uh, set up this email so here is saying uh, your username or password is incorrect let me check this no okay okay yes password is wrong so i will just copy again this password and here carefully and copy this and i will just add this again here and here just paste this and just click on next here uh, in the smtp server outgoing server now we need to verify outgoing server here it will be there so here is outgoing server is same our email uh, domain so i'll just go and smtp server is same so just click on next
now you can see notify every 15 minutes uh, you can just do that every hour 30 minutes never so i will just say 50 minutes and just click on next now new you just need to add your uh, name here so i will just say consultations consultation here so you know, this this best practice that you need to use the, your username as a name so just click on next and now our email has been configured so i will just go back into the gmail and here in the gmail i will just click here and here you can see the constitutions maybe shallow this notification i have received for my email so i will just click here and if you want to check all emails just click here and here you can see consultations email has been added and here you can see the emails are here now we need to add another email that why i was used for a WooCommerce. So in the same way, I will just click here and just click on add another account and just click on other. And here I will just use my other email. So I will just go here and here is my email. This this one is my email and just copy that and I will go there and paste this. And next in the uh, I will select IMAP and in the password I will just go back <coughs> and uh, paste uh, copy this password copy this password and just go back and paste this here and just click on next and here in the incoming server here you can see this one is incoming server and here this one is incoming server and just copy that and just incoming server is paste that and here is the incoming server and just click on next here you can see is saying in uh, your email okay use username or password is wrong let me see which one is password mm, this one okay copy that and i will just paste there here and next mm, that next yes that's him and just click on next and here i will say online orders orders and just click on next and now email has been configured so just go back to the gmail and now we see in the list here you can see online orders has been there here is the online order email has been added and all the emails are here new order information new order uh, notifications are here so that's how you can set up your email account into your wordpress